Hey guys, uh, I'm in Kuala Lumpur and I got a haircut and I decided, hey, I'm just gonna start walking. And uh, I didn't know where I was going, but I ran into one of these things. It's a beam scooter. Uh, it's like bird scooter in San Diego or lime scooter in the US. They're called beam here. Uh, they don't have brakes <laughs> like the ones in the US do, uh, but it does go pretty quick. Uh, I've gone all the way, uh, all around downtown Kuala Lumpur on this thing. It's uh, two, two ringgit and 50, two and a half ringgit to start. And third, um, I think it's like, it's super cheap. <laughs> it's like maybe 30 cents or like 20 cents a minute or something like that. The only downside is you have to stay within the beam zone and it's not super clear what that is. Um, now I haven't dived into the app too much to check it out, but if you park outside the beam zone, they charge you 10 ringgit, which is about five US dollars. No, no, it's, it's about $2.50 US. Uh, but man, this thing is taking me all over and everyone's looking at me because there's no one else riding them. Uh, you know, downloading the app for a foreigner, you have to have a, a Malaysian number and you have to have a credit card. Obviously, I use privacy.com. I never give vendors my real debit card number. I always give them the virtual disposable ones from privacy.com. But yeah, I've just been, it's, it's uh, 11.30 at night here in Kuala Lumpur. I've just been riding around like nobody's business just because I'm bored. I checked out of my hotel today. Um, there is Petronas Tower right there. And then there's the other one. Um, I checked out my hotel today because I was sleeping uh, all day and all night. I was sleeping probably like 18 hours a day. It was just too comfortable for me. Um, with the air conditioning just exactly the way I wanted it and no window so well it had a window but it had a blackout curtain as well so I decided I wanted to uh, film some videos so I wanted to get out of that uh, that situation so I checked out of the Porno Hotel and I checked into um, a dormitory which is like a hostel downtown here uh, and it's super not super comfortable uh, so it makes me want to leave the room during the day uh, and go check out Kuala Lumpur. So that's what I did and I'm glad I did it. It's only like six bucks a night too, maybe five dollars a night. Uh, it's, it's not horrible uh, for five dollars a night. Um, it's just in most hostels I've been to, they turn on the air to a certain temperature and then they take the remote and that's what that's fair for everyone. But here they let everyone control it and I'll turn the air on when I'm going to sleep and then I'll wake up like it'll be all hot in the room and stuffy because someone else has turned it off and I don't really like that. Um, but I can't really complain for the price. It's also in one of the uh, nicer residential buildings so I get access to the pool, I get access to the gym. Um, I'm gonna take you guys through that uh, tomorrow uh, to see where I'm staying because it's, it's a great deal, especially if you wanna just see Kuala Lumpur and not spend your life in a hotel. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm at at Petronas Towers. Not doing anything else. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.